Hey there! Have you ever wondered how to make Kraft dinner, but with corn? <laughs> Neither have I, but we're about to find out. Alright, let's get to it. First thing to make Kraft dinner with corn is Kraft dinner. It would probably work best for cooking if you put six cups of water in, in your pot. Yeah. Or, 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 or that works too. Oh, okay. Now that you got that all sorted out, you cheat that bad boy. And remember, kids, safety first. Always point the handle inwards and not outwards. Next up, we should cut the. We should open the corn. And just use a can opener. That works. Yeah. Get get yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I got. It. I got it, guys. I got it. Come on. Come. Come. Yeah. 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 All right. Now that we brought it to a nice hot boil, it's time to dump in that craft dinner. Oh yeah, it's also a really good idea to stir it while you're at it. You can also add the corn now if you want. Just like I'm about to do right here. Any 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 second now. There there we go, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, put put that corn in there. All that corn, but but not too much. Yeah, yeah. And 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 then you take you take a really long time until you stir it again. Yeah, just just get in front of the camera. That's what you need to do. And then you can stir it again. Yeah, just stir all of that. All of real good. And when you got it cooking, you can just sit back and watch some good old TV. And now it's time to drain that bad boy of all those liquids. Yeah. Get all that water out of there. We don't need that in our craft dinner and corn. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's it's a lot of water. Yeah, yeah, take take your time. You don't gotta rush this or anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's also a good idea to leave the corn can in there while you're doing that. Yeah, just Alright, now it's time to add all the stuff that's about to kill you. Yeah, if you wanna die at twenty, just put some margarine in there. But if you're a real man like me, you put actual butter in there. Yeah. Alright, and then, then you just put some milk in there. Qu nice fact to know for this. The more milk you put in, the milkier it'll get. And then what's Kraft's dinner mac and cheese without cheese? It's Kraft's dinner mac. So we're going to put some cheese in there because we don't want no mac. We just want mac and cheese. With some corn, and just just stir that away. Nobody cares. And and then you stir that bad boy. Yeah, you stir it. Yeah, make sure everything's getting together. Yeah, make sure they're playing nice together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you put too much milk in, you'll you'll have too much milk. So watch out for that. Luckily for me, I'm a precision milk dumper so I put in just the right amount of milk for this yeah look at that it's getting real nice now yeah I'm really feeling it now and now it's time to dump all that mac and cheese with corn goodness into the bowl to eat it yeah the steam lets you know it's ready to eat yeah Alright guys, now we've got our craft dinner and corn put all together, it's time to bring out our special guest taste tester, none other than Ron Shaw. What? Uh, just, just then guys, i got to talk to my producer. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean he can cancel on us? He can't do that. No, no he's on a contract, dude. Uh, who's going to do it? What are we going to do now, man? Who's going to, who's going to eat this garbage? Oh, come on! No! No! Alright, I want to raise my 30%. 30%.
30. All right, I'll pay you. Uh, all right, guys. I, 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 guess, I guess I'm the taste tester this week. <laughs> Let's get a nice big spoonful. What's going on? I said, 